Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Lydia Marquesian at the International Conference on Indigenous Biodiversity, Homeland, the official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia. Interview with culturologist Garine Hakopian. Turkey expects concessions from Armenia. 32 years passed since Bidak earthquake. Turkey intends to deploy a new group of mercenaries in Libya, sites of Western Armenia. On November 28, the Vice Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mrs. Lydia Markosian, participated in the International Conference on Indigenous Biodiversity, which took place via Facebook Live. The International Indigenous Forum on Biodiversity is a collection of representatives from indigenous governments, indigenous non-governmental organizations and indigenous scholars and activists that organize around the Convention on Biological Diversity and other important international environment meetings to help coordinate indigenous tragedies at these meetings, provide advice to government parties and influence the interpretations of government obligations to recognize and respect indigenous rights to knowledge and resources. On 1st of December 2020 was published the 26th issue of the new edition of monthly official newspaper of Western Armenia. The official newspaper will be published periodically at the beginning of each month. In an interview with Western Armenia TV, culturologist Garina Hakopian presented the cultural spheres that suffered greatly during the Artsakh War. She emphasized that the preservation of cultural spheres should have been a priority for Armenia, and before the culture war it was necessary to take steps that would avoid irreversible consequences. She also spoke about the possible dangers of globalization in which Armenia is now fully involved. She discussed the most favorable outcomes in the situation and the right of personal policy. You can watch the interview on our official YouTube channel. Channel. And Kerr will not agree to normalize relations with Armenia without concession from Yerevan. The director of the Institute of Oriental Studies Academician of the Republic of Armenia National Academy of Sciences, Ruben Safrastian, expressed such opinion. On December 3, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlu Çavuşoğlu said at the 27th session of the OSCE Foreign Minister's Council that the agreement on Artsakh would have a positive impact on Armenia-Turkey relations. The agreement between Armenia, Russia and Azerbaijan is a real opportunity to achieve peace, he said. Based on Turkey's regional policy in general and Armenia in particular, we can state that Ankara has no real will, including a desire to improve relations with our country, he stressed. In particular, the absence of such intentions, according to Safarstian, confirms the political views of Turkish leadership towards Armenia. In this regard, we expect from the interilateral declaration of Artsakh's Russian-Turkish control that there will be no normalization of relations between Armenia and Turkey. The full article is available on our official website. The Spitak earthquake shattered the peace of Armenia 32 years ago. The devastating earthquake measuring 10 degrees took place in 40% of the territory of Armenia on December 7, 1988. Spitak, Leninakan, Kirovakan, Stepanavan towns, over hundreds of villages and settlements of Spitak, Ahurian, Gukark, Aragats, and Stepanavan were fully or partially demolished during a few seconds. More than 25,000 people died, 540,000 people remained homeless. 17 of the housing resources broke down. 230 industrial objects with 82,000 workplaces were ruined due to the quake. The economic damage of Armenia amounted 30 billion rubles. Turkey is sending an additional group of mercenaries to Libya despite an agreement reached between the two rival sides in the country's civil war, calling on Ankara to remove the mercenaries. The Libyan National Army, which is subordinate to General Khalifa Haftar and the Turkish UN-backed National Accord government, have been fighting for power in Libya since 2014. The two sides reached a ceasefire agreement on October in Geneva with the mediation of the UN. One of the clauses of the agreement provided for the withdrawal of all military units armed groups from the front, as well as the removal of mercenaries and foreign militants from the country. However, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said on Saturday that Turkey was going to send more mercenaries from Syria to Libya next week. According to the center, in November, Turkey had already sent 80,000 Syrian and 2,500 Tunisian mercenaries to Libya. Medieval church rises next to the Juni cave in the northwest of Karin, western Armenia. Armenian images are depicted in a large part facing east. Images with Armenian letters were found in the settlement. Citizens are asked to take care of this place, not to destroy it for treasure hunting or other purposes. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Ardvin.
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.